If you're trying to log into your PC and you see this message, something happened and your pin isn't available. This usually indicates a problem with your Windows Hello pin. There are many possible reasons for this error. Maybe pin data is corrupted, system file is corrupted, or even sometimes Windows updates can cause this issue. Now you're probably worried about your data because you're locked out of your PC, but don't worry, I'll show you guys two methods to fix this issue. First, you can try to go into Windows Recovery Environment and then edit the registry key. To access the Windows Recovery Environment, click and hold the Shift key on your keyboard and click on this power icon and then click on Restart. Once you see the Windows logo, you can let go the Shift key. This is the Windows Recovery Environment. Here, go to Troubleshoot, then go to advanced options and here click on command prompt and here type this command and hit enter on your keyboard and it should say the command completed successfully now type in here reg edit and hit enter now it will open a registry editor here click on edge key local machine and then click on file and then click on load hive and then click on this PC. Here select the drive where the Windows is installed. Usually it's the C drive, but sometimes the drive letters could change if you have more than one bootable drive on your system. Here select local disk, select Windows folder, and here look for system32 folder. And again here look for config folder. Open that and here select the software file. Here it will ask you to give it a name. You can give it whatever name you want. This is temporary. Let's say I can give it a MS name and click on OK. Now expand the HK local machine registry. Here you'll see that temporarily created folder. We gave it a MS name so we're gonna have to expand that and here I expand the Microsoft folder and here scroll down and look for Windows NT folder. Also expand this and under that folder you'll see a current version. Also expand this. Now here look for folder named passwordless. Also expand this and under that folder you'll see device. Select that folder and to the right side you'll see two registry entries. One will be default and one will be device passwordless build version. Select that and right click and click on modify. By default it will be set to two the value data. Now change it to zero and click on OK. Now scroll all the way up and select the temporarily created folder again and then click on file and click on unload hive. Click yes and close the registry editor and also command prompt and now click on continue and this will reboot your PC. Now hopefully this will fix your pin issue and you'll be able to enter your pin and log into your desktop. But this method doesn't work all the time. Again, as I said, there are many reasons why you get this error. So if this didn't fix your issue, let me show you guys the easiest method to fix this issue. And this method works almost all the time. It's 100% guaranteed. You can download this software called Eases Partition Master. You'll find link in the description. Go there and just download it and install it. And if you're locked out of your PC and you can't use this software, then you'll probably need a second PC to use this software. So once you have this software installed, open this up. This is the user interface. Here, go to toolkit and scroll down a little bit and you'll see this option password reset click on it and click on create here you can either create a bootable usb drive or you can also create a iso file if you want to save it for later what this will do is actually create a portable version of windows which you can use to reset your password and you can also access all your data using this so select the usb drive option and here also select your usb drive and make sure that there is nothing on your usb drive if there is go and save it because this will format your disk now click on create and click on yes. Now it will download and install the portable version of Windows onto this USB drive. This will take some time, so be patient and just wait. Now once it's done, it will say something like this. You can also view the manual, how to use this bootable USB drive to fix your issues and all that, okay? So now just 
plug this USB drive to the locked PC where you can't log in. To make your PC boot from this USB drive, you may have to change the boot order from your PC's BIOS. To change the boot order in BIOS, restart your computer and during restart, you need to click on specific key to enter into the BIOS setup. The key to enter the BIOS setup can be different depending on the manufacturer. For example, it could be delete F2, F12, or you can also do a Google search. Let's say I have MSI motherboard. I can just search how to enter BIOS setup in MSI motherboard. Once you're in the BIOS, find the section related to boot options or boot order. And from here, change the boot order and move the USB drive top of the list. After that, save the changes and exit your BIOS and reboot your computer. And now your computer will boot from that USB drive. Now, within a couple of seconds, you'll see this portable Windows version, or you can say live version of Windows, which you don't have to install. It's already installed on your USB drive and is running from your USB drive live. And it will automatically open a Ease as Partition Master. You can go to Toolkit again and go to Password Reset. And in here, you'll see all the user profiles on your system. So select your user profile. In my case, KB is my user profile. And I'm gonna click on Reset and unlock. Once you do this, this will basically remove the password from your PC and you'll be able to log into your PC without any password. And after you log in, you can set up your new password. We can now just reboot our PC and we don't have to enter any password. It will automatically just log in. Now, if you want to set up a password, go to settings and go to account and then go to sign in option. And from here, you can set up whatever type of password you want to use. Like for example, just simple password, click on password and click on add. And here, just add your new password. And this is probably the easiest way to fix issues with Windows password. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, then don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe.